Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to pull before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? Oh, come on. Who would fool themselves to believe anything but the latter? Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind, now that is an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. I'm sorry, mate, that's my train. Uh, Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. Platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. There's two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life with a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Get something? Not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about before, you know, just assuming like that. Oh, ignore him. He was being an arsehole. I think your boyfriend's an arsehole. Don't you? But, uh, he does have a nice car. What are you reading? Just a little bit of light study. <laughs> Looks pretty heavy to me. Can I help you with something? I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? 
Okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. It's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in a Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Ah, look, forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, all right? What? Look, no more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over it. Die. 